Ba-ding. Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. The sun is shining. It is still chill out there. It's morning time here in the Pacific Northwest. Thumbs up for that. But it's going to be a bright and sunny day, I think. Maybe. Yay! <laughs> that would be a good thing. I had minor insomnia, but still slept, and that's a good thing. So I'll talk about some of this other stuff in just one moment. First of all, hey, front-loading of videos, if you toss me a like, that'd be awesome. If you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be very cool. If you could leave me a comment, that would be double plus good. And hopefully, I've got um, Filmora loaded up here, but now, of course, because I upgraded to the latest one, it says I need to update my drivers, otherwise it's just going to be unstable. There's no way to undo the installation, and my card is updated to the highest levels now, so I may have hosed myself. Don't know if I'll be able to edit on here. Might have to do it on the PlayStation anyway. If so, I've got my Patreon patrons up here. If not, then... <sighs> anyway, though, if you'd like to become a Patreon patron and help me survive, I have links to my Patreon in the <coughs> video description, along with links to a PayPal for possible donations, an Amazon wishlist link that I still need to update with pet food and such like that on it. Thumbs up, thank you much, greatly appreciated, each and every one of you. Yay! So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with, uh, with my Filmora on here. Yay! Thumbs up! <laughs> still though, I mean, life is not always just oy vey, because also over here, Nexor, sent me <laughs> this book here and this is just a book that you write stuff down so that you don't forget it so my issue with using things like this is i always forget to use them or if i do i forget to look at them so I, i'll try it thank you very much i mean it's it's worth a shot and thumbs up also <clears throat> What arrived the other day, same day as this, actually, so it wasn't even the other day. I ordered the the uh, role-playing game Sacrifice. And it can be played solo, or it's designed for just one game master and one player. Now, the reason I have a physical book for this instead of a PDF is because, I think it was like the beginning of the month or something, last month, that I bought this, and it just takes forever to show up print-on-demand. It was $10 to buy the PDF, or it was $10 to get the PDF and the book. I would have been foolish to not get the book for the same price. So I've had the PDF I've been reading, now the book showed up, so thumbs up. Yeah, it's a game where uh, in this harsh and, and frightening world, you were going to be sacrificed for a demonic, uh, some sort of ritual, but you managed to escape and the thing is, it's you against the world, but your character is tough. It's not a, you're a, a, just a first level, zero level peon. No, you are, you're more than capable of taking care of yourself. So it is well designed for that sort of thing. Plus, there, I did watch a video this morning. There is a new free product called Gemulator, which I don't know if it's new. I mean, it was kind of old, the video, so it might even be a year old. But it's Gemulator. It's a GM emulator. They have a lot of them, but this one seems to be having a very good emphasis on making things happen for you. And that you don't just say, gosh, I'm going to roll on an oracle and just have an oracle. It has huge things that go on with the oracles, and it's just very in-depth, very good. So definitely a thumbs up on that. Also, I have been running games on this thing, the Alienware laptop, and it does do pretty good. There are some games I am absolutely terrified of running because the fans inside of there suddenly power up and start just blaring hard to keep everything cooled down enough and that kind of scares me <laughs> what i would like to do is get one of those cooling things with fans underneath it problem with that of course is um they might be just as loud as this thing is now or louder in which case 
the idea is to keep it cool, but I also need to be able to hear without like fans going and So we shall see. I'd like to be able to keep it cool. I don't want to destroy it by playing games like Astroneer. Astroneer, it just, those fans power up hard. So, thumbs up. Just thought I'd mention that. Also, I looked up online. It says, do you have to unplug your, your power cord if your battery is charged up? Because I have accidentally destroyed equipment through the years by forgetting to unplug them that were chargeable. Everything I see online now says your battery on your laptop stops charging when it hits 100%, so it's okay to keep it plugged in. But you do need to use it and bring it down between 80 and 20, 20 yeah, 80 and 20% a couple times a week. But past that, it is not bad to keep it plugged in. Anybody out there that may use a laptop, true, untrue, what have you found? I don't want to destroy the, the system any faster than I have to. So if you know, please let me know. Thumbs up on that. And checking my list here again, my leg. Yesterday it was sore, very sore. It's still tender this morning. But when I started off the day yesterday, it was only slightly more swollen than my other leg. By the end of the day, it looked like it did starting the day, the day before. It was pretty swollen, but it took all day to get that way. I had to get up at three in the morning to get up and go to the bathroom. When I did, my leg was still pretty swollen. When I woke up this morning, didn't look bad. It's still tender, but I can't really feel any heat, can't really see any, well, there's still some redness, but not a lot. And the swelling is way down. I'm still taking the doxycycline, so thumbs up for that. But it seems to be working, and let's hope that it continues to do so. Yay. But also, when I was talking yesterday about my lab results, Nexor in the comments talked about what's good and bad for kidneys. Now, I'm the kind of person that once I know something, if I know it, I can't just not do it. Like, if I know something is bad, I'm not just going to lie to myself and continue doing it. When I was an alcoholic, I knew it was killing me, but I was addicted, and that was hard to break. But, if I know that something is the wrong thing to say, I don't say it. If it's the wrong thing to do, I don't do it. If it's a health thing that I know is bad, I try not to do it. There's problems, though with my kidneys not being the best anymore. But, price-wise, Nexor mentioned that their doctor had talked to them about doing a half-and-half half on sugarless Gatorade. I'm on a very limited income. Because the cost of living went up, my disability went up a little bit. Because my disability went up a little bit, my food uh, stamps went down because I have more money to buy food, so they're taking that away. Everything costs twice as much, so now I, I got even less that I could buy because stuff that used to cost two bucks is now around seven. So, the reason I'm bringing that up this is the sort of thing that I normally drink. It is a two liter bottle of cola, store-bought cola. Colas, the dark sodas, are apparently very bad for you. Now, I've known that sodas aren't really the best for you, but it's been something that I can drink, and I'll actually drink to stay hydrated. It's got caffeine in it, so it's also diuretic, and I take caffeine tablets, which are you know, 200 milligrams of caffeine. It's a powerful diuretic. So that's why I tend to drink a lot of this. But at the same time, Nexor had mentioned that the Gatorade thing. This on sale is a buck twenty. Not on sale is like a buck and a half. Pretty expensive. If I buy it at Walmart, Walmart, it's a buck twenty. This is a Gatorade Zero Sugar. It's on sale 
It is not even a full liter. It is just 829 milliliters. On sale, I had to buy two of these so that this one only costs two dollars. I don't know that I can afford to drink this. That will eat up all of my food. On my food stamps right now, I get effectively five dollars a day that I can, what is there? No, I was just making sure nothing was poking up in division there on my monitor. I get roughly five dollars a day to eat. A can of chili in town costs three and a half dollars minimum. So that leaves me a buck and a half to buy something else to eat. What can I buy for a buck and a half? Sometimes they might have a can of mandarin oranges on sale. So I can eat a can of chili and a can of mandarin oranges for that five dollars I have for the day. If I have to spend like three and a half dollars or something just for this, that leaves me a buck and a half to eat. <sighs> so I'm not just going to stop and continue drinking these. Now that I know that it's going to wipe out my kidneys faster than I like, I gotta do something. But I simply can't afford to do that. And I can't ask anybody else to do it for me because this would be an ongoing thing. I can't ask anybody to do that for me. So I've got these just to check it out and test it, but I just need something to flavor the water. I think one of the reasons that soda is something that I can drink and not get feel, feeling sick on, because if I just drink regular water, I feel sick on an empty stomach. I think there's enough particulates in sodas that my stomach gets to work on that. And so it's not just feeling sick. So if I can find something to put in the water that's cheap and gives enough flavor so that it's not horrendous, I'll have to do that. So thumbs up. And then down to, uh, now it's going to be a lot of the, not a lot, checking my time, not a lot, but some of the creative stuff. One of the questions that I have had and wanting to have my characters ask other cryptids, I mean, not that I have had, but I have had the characters wanting to ask, why do you eat people? Is why, why do you eat human beings? Because they, you would seem they don't have to, especially since the amount of cryptids that have to eat human beings is exceptionally low. It, the amount of cryptids that have to, or they will starve, very, very small amount. But the number of cryptids that do so because they like to, higher, still low, and as much as cryptids eat human beings, they do tend to eat each other uh, far more. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, human beings, we have generally one child every nine months. Sometimes, of course, twins or triplets. Cryptids generally tend to have litters, two or three litters of kits every year. And of those, it can be anywhere from one to six or so kits that are born and then grow up. They have to because, remember, uh, they tend to eat each other more than they tend to eat us. So, uh, but just simple, one of the big reasons is they don't know. There are no scientists of cryptids that deal with this sort of thing. Cryptids that can be actually can actually become scientists have to be very human, then can deal with humans on an intimate basis and mix with humans, at which point they usually don't eat human beings. And if they do, they don't really have the money and such to discuss and figure out why. But then again, do you ever sit down and ponder on an existential level if you eat meat, why you eat meat, or do you just eat meat? We have omnivorous systems. We could live entirely on plants. But I bet, if you're watching this, 
a good 80, 90, 95% or more of you eat meat. Why? Why? Do you know why? Do you know why you choose to when you don't have to? If you don't, well, you're a cryptid. In that they don't know why. They just find that they they like to eat us because we're tasty. We are delicious. We are wonderful. Even among human beings whose third eye is open, we aren't delicious, but oh boy, do we taste good. I mean, comparably, a good piece of prime rib cooked to perfection, falling apart, just perfectly seasoned, melts in your mouth, is about comparable to a medium rare cooked chunk of unseasoned human meat. Both of those are like, yeah, they're about as good. So even human beings with their third eye open, we taste good. And after all, even just eating human beings, as any of the Dempty family says, well, yeah, I eat human beings. Why wouldn't I? I'm a human being, and I eat other human beings. We taste great. When you drive a car, there's a risk of getting killed in a car accident. When you are using electronics, there's a risk of getting electrocuted. When you go swimming, you could drown. When you go out in the world, you could be eaten. It's a risk to take. So joy. <laughs> Checking out the rest of this. Oh yes, and just as a quick one, I talked to, I've talked about how the cryptids break human beings down in some of the places, like the Uncle Bonbons. They have a, a processing place where you go in as a human being and you get broken down into all your component parts so that they can use those in snacks and food products. Now again, because the Uncle Bonbons people deal closely and intimately with human beings, they are not monsters. They provide pain away, which is an analgesic that cuts away all pain entirely to each person that is going to be processed. They have extensive calmers, little focuses that keep people calm inside of their presence, just to keep people from freaking out. Again, 80% of that is you're easier to control and break down into your component parts if you're not terrified. So 80% of the reason they do that is just it's easier, but also 20% of that is they're not monsters. They're not monsters. So they're going to give you a pain away so that you don't hurt. They're going to give you a calming effect so that you don't freak out as they break you down into your component parts so that they can put you into snack and food items. Because, yeah, you go in as a human being and you come out as a lot of component parts. Thumbs up for that. And let me see what else I just have here. Ah, yes. Uh, I think I'm kind of done with the Dempty family. And when I say I'm done, I don't mean I'm done and turning away. It's just that I chew on and explore something as much as I possibly can. I have spent a lot of in-depth time on the Dempty family. I now know the backgrounds of Jacob and Monica Dempty. I know the backgrounds of their three children. I know where they're living and what's going on. I mean, as much as I as a human being, I don't have extensive notes on what's going on. It's just what I know right now. But I know what's going on at the RV park. There's the abyssal ocean underneath all of the oval lakes in the southeastern United States. I know the near future of what's going on with Barb and Nis and Annie and all of their partners. There's nothing really left to explore for them now. So for the time being, unless something else just pops up, I'm going to be moving my attention largely away from the Dempty family but still, I'm sticking with cryptids because I, I am still fascinated by all of this. And again, checking my time, I have mentioned that the world pulsates with the beat of a cryptid heart. When our planet is coalescing from the dust and gases around our sun, as soon as things become stable, far before there's life, cryptid energy starts pouring through these one-way doors. 
for about a billion years after humanity has died out, this energy will continue to pour out of these doors. Human beings are almost incidental on this earth because our world beats like a cryptid heart. And I've opened up Tony for hours with the comments on my community tab. This time I actually did so. I'm going to go through and thank how many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I'm going to count here, I'm not really counting. It's just something I can do with my hand on a pad. Jesse Koskinen, thumbs up. Thank you. Good to see you. Larry from Space, greatly appreciated. Nexor EH, thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. And I'm glad that uh, my, my voice tends to uh, calm down your little doggy. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Beyond the capsule, bing! It's relit. Thumbs up. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. And hopefully your day is a wonderful one. J A double -Y, y. Thumbs up. Thank you. Checking out your list here. Uh, we'll see what happens. There's Florum. You greatly appreciated. And I didn't get to talk about this one, but yeah, I imagine there are cryptids that are religious that managed to take their religious thinking to go out and to help those on hospice and those that are dying. They'll eat them to save them from their pain. So I'm going to hopefully explore that tomorrow. And then we have Chris. Thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. Blue Toad. Greatly appreciated. There is Supper. Cool guy. <laughs> Thumbs up. Fluffy Big Butt. Hey, just make comments when you can. Don't worry otherwise. We have uh, 77 Arcturus, thumbs up, thank you, and R.J. Mitchell. I keep spitting when I'm talking. I am salivating like mad around my dentures. Jared TG, thumbs up, and thank you, and that is it. Greatly appreciated, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that that is appreciated to no end. Definitely a thumbs up. I am separate, but not isolated alone but not lonely and it is you people out there that keep me centered so thank you so very very much it is appreciated to no end well i'm still going to be taking it easy today i do it on walkies last night about two or three miles until my leg gets better that's just what i'm going to be doing about two or three miles i went up into southern shelton and then walked to safeway and back last night i'm just going to do that for a while until my leg gets better. I finally have got it fully sunk into my head that I don't have to be stupidly stubborn. <laughs> I've gotten better at it, but now I've, I've finally got it all the way in my head. So, good deal. I do need to make some phone calls, so hopefully I can get that done. Hopefully, you can get done what you need to get done. That would be a very, very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. If you can't, don't beat yourself up. Survival is important. Yay. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And even though I'm going to be attempting to edit this on Filmora, and I could, if it works well, easily edit this part out uh well <laughs>